Sure. About two dozen things here that I just... <laughs> well, where is he? Out of the office, back at four, he said. Well, that's strange. He didn't mention anything about that to me. And what are his appointments? Um, nothing scheduled till then, I think. Um, he'll probably call in. Whew. Well, that's a pity. Is there anything I can help with, Ray? No, no, I'm afraid I promised them all Frank's personal attention. Well, I guess it'll just have to wait until he gets back, that's all. Look, will you have him... What is it? Excuse me? What's going on between the two of you? I don't like being the subject of knowing glances. You know where Frank is, don't you? He didn't say precisely. Well, did he say approximately? All right. Why is everything crossed out? Do you know where he is or don't you? Yes, I do. Where is he? He's gone to New York. To see Jill. I suppose that's the case. Yes. Now, would you like to tell me why you tried to keep that from me? All right, you guys, come on. Ray, I wasn't trying you to You were anything. trying to protect Frank from me. Well, I have a little bit of information for you, and I want you to absorb it right now. Nobody protects Frank Ryan from me. I am the reason he has this office and the reason that the two of you have your jobs. Now, if Frank needs protection, I will make that decision and I will be the one that does the protecting. I don't know who you think you are, but you are very young and very inexperienced and, believe me, totally expendable. Now, just a second, Ray. I think you've gone far enough. Stop. Now, you listen to me. We're both expendable. That's true. But not from you, from Frank. We're on his office, his payroll. He hired us. I mean, we appreciate everything you did to get him elected. But the voters put him in, not you. And I don't think Nancy or I have to be talked to that way. Your loyalty is very touching, Bob, but it's totally misguided. Because if you really cared at all about Frank, you would not allow him to go flying to the bedside of another man's wife, making a complete fool of himself. The only thing he is going to accomplish is a great deal of pain and embarrassment for everyone. In addition to which, it is unbelievably stupid. Now, what Frank does is Frank's business. I've known him since he was nine years old. I've never offered him an opinion he didn't ask for. Frank is his own man. A United States senator does not own his own life anymore. Okay. Then it belongs to his constituents, not to one single person. I know very well that I don't own Frank, but I also know how valuable I've been to him. Frank Ryan needs to be protected from himself a great deal more than he needs to be protected from me. 